In this video, we'll be learning how to change the file size of a PDF document with a Mac. Now, on my desktop here, we can see that I have a PDF file named IB Calculus. And if I open it, we can see that this is quite a big file. Indeed, it's 172 pages long. So let's see how we can actually reduce this document's file size. On a Mac, we're going to do that with Preview. Now, don't worry, Preview is a program uh, which you definitely have if you have a Mac. So, to find it, I'm going to go to this little magnifying glass, the Spotlight Search, in the top right-hand corner of my desktop here. So I click on that, and I go ahead and type Preview, and hit Enter. Preview is now open, and it's asking me which file I want to open. So, as I said previously, I want to resize this IB Calculus document, so I select it and click Open. Now that that's done, the first thing I'm actually going to do is make a note of this actual document or file's size. And to do that, I'm going to go click on Tools in the menu there, and I'm going to ask it to show the inspector, the first option. And I can see here the general info about this document. And in particular here, I can see that the file size for this PDF is 3.7 megabytes. Okay, now, that's what I want to reduce. That's the actual size, and I want to reduce it. So, to do this, the first thing you need to do is make a duplicate version of this document. Do not modify your final draft of work for any anything you want to upload or send. Never modify your actual final draft. So you want to make a copy of it. Go to File and select Duplicate. So I select that and it's making a copy of it. And in fact it even names it for us IB Calculus Copy. I'm going to go ahead and change that and just call it IB Calculus for Upload. For instance, this may be my IB Extended Essay, and I want to upload the document. Once I've renamed it, and I'm happy with the name, I click Enter. Now, we can see there on the desktop that it's actually created that document in the same place as the previous one. So, you want to make sure you're saving your documents in a, I want to say, organized way. Because the copy of your document will be saved in the same place as the original one. Now, let's see. The way we're actually going to resize this is by going to File, select Export, and all the way at the bottom here we have this option, well two options, we have PDF, which is definitely the format we want, and beneath that we have Quartz Filter. So I select that and I scroll down until I reach Reduce File Size, and I select that. I now hit Save, and it's asking me whether I want to replace my document with this one. And because this is the copy of my original work, I'm not taking any risks here. And I can go ahead and say, yes, replace. Done. As simple as that. Now that's done, let's check the actual file size. So this is my IB Calculus for Upload. If I go to Tools again and show Inspector, I can see that the file size is now 1.3 megabytes. And we're done. Now I will point out one important bit of inf one important fact here. When we're doing this with preview, we cannot choose how much we want to reduce the file size by. In other words, Apple has decided to I want to say optimize this so that it doesn't damage the actual document. Meaning to say that if we were to reduce this file too much, then perhaps the quality of the document would be lost. So they try and limit it as much as possible by not giving you the full rights to what file size you want there. It takes care of the optimum solution for you. So in this case it's reduced it by nearly two-thirds and that's not bad at all. Now if that's not enough and you need to reduce a file size even further then you'll probably find that you have a lot of JPEGs or images inside your PDF document and in my next video, I show you how to resize the actual JPEGs before placing them inside your document. And you'll see that the PDF will then be smaller as well. And there we go.